Hello everyone, my name is Kamaljit Kaur and my student ID is MIT181363. Uh, I'm here to explain my project, which is design and implementation of intelligent helmet for accident detection. So these are my uh, other group members names and their IDs. This is our project client detail. Our client name is Muhammad Ali Khali and BRR technology is our company name. And Dr. Goink Han Anis is our project supervisor. So this is our table of contents, which include project requirements, project design, design approaches, result, innovation, limitation, and conclusions. So these are our client requirements. According to our client requirements, our primary objective is to construct smart helmet, which should include detect accident and send location to concert emergency devices, check whether the writer gets to wear the helmet or not, and the last one, the helmet should be able to detect temperature of the surrounding and notify if it is exceed 40 degree temperature. Thank you. Hi, this is Father Rashid, and I'm going to be presenting project diagram uh, with block diagram of the project and uh, the detailed circuit diagram of our project. So here we can see uh, uh, the microcontroller and the, all the components in our project connected to each other. Uh, that we have uh, the RF decoder, which will be receiving signals from the helmet uh, unit. Um, and then we have the vibration sensor to detect the accidents. Uh, and then we have the temperature sensor to detect uh, the temperature and sending notifications to the riders. Five volts regulated power supply to be provided to the microcontroller DPTD relay to switch between GPS receiver and GSM modem, motor driver and DC motor, DC motor will be mimicking our bike. So let's uh, move on to our next slide. So this is our detailed circuit diagram in which we can see all the components uh, and the microcontroller um, with the detailed pins uh, and the connections with the components. Uh, so we have the RF receiver, which uh, I've already told you about. Uh, the RF receiver will be taking signals from the helmet uh, unit RF uh, transmitter. <clears throat> so in case uh, the Rider is uh, wears the helmet, the signal will be transferred to the R receiver. And then we have the switch will be uh, in the helmet to detect uh, whether the rider is wearing the helmet or not. Then we have the vibration sensor uh, to detect the accidents, temperature sensor, of course, so I've already mentioned it. Uh, um, the regulated power supply circuit is there uh, to provide uh, regulated five volts to microcontroller. And then we have some indicators uh, as well. And then the G GPS and the GSM modules, uh, which are connected to the DPTT relay, which is the double pole, double control relay uh, to switch between uh, the GPS and GSM modules. And in the end, we have the motor, uh, which will be mimicking the bike. So when the rider uh, wears the helmet, uh, it sends a modification and uh, uh, there will be a button on the microcontroller, which when we press, then we'll be able to start the motor uh, as it is uh, in the case uh, with the bike. So the next slide uh, will be presented by Chirag. Hi, my name is Chirag Prajapati and today I'm going to be presenting of the result of our project. In our project, we use a different type of sensor like a vibration sensor, temperature sensor, uh, GPS, GSM, and we use the microcontroller at mega 32K. In the picture, you can see the vibration sensor is a small sensor on top of the box, and the second one is a temperature sensor. We both are connected with the microcontroller, and we did the coding for use that one. So we did coding uh, by AVR by using a VR programmer. AVR programmer is on top of the box, like one pin of AVR programmer is going to the microcontroller, and the second pin is going to the laptop. So we used uh, we did the coding by using a AVR program. In the second program, a uh, second picture, we can see the standalone of our project. All the uh, sensors, uh, sensors and the uh, hardware connected in the one box. Like uh, this small sensor is like a GPS sensor, and the 
second one which is ESM sensor both are connected uh, both are connected with the relay relay is uh, like a mediation to connect uh, both sensor to connect to the microcontroller so both are connected all are connected with the microcontroller and we did the coding the using the same thing of, by using the AVI programmer and the small motor we indicate as a vehicle so in short like a when writer hit the anything else with the another vehicle and he got the accident so microcontroller display showing the accident occurred and the microcontroller send the signal through the relay to the gps and gsm so gsm is already gsm module is where the sim boost and he used to send a machine, uh, message to register mobile number when microcontroller detect the accident on, through the vibration sensor the uh, last picture is about the transmitter we attach the transmitter with the helmet and uh, the transmitter switch connected with the like the build when rider wear the helmet when rider wear the helmet that bone switch gonna press and it's showing on microcontroller display uh, helmet is wear and after that uh, rider start the vehicle then uh, motor will run and when the rider take off the helmet the uh, vehicle stop automatically and the last size uh, competitive analysis in the competitive analysis uh, involve how the project team ramped uh, the design of sart helmet to appeal the modern automotive industry automobile industry the research method purpose is the last semester involve the traditional circuit with the arduino uh, we like thinking to use the arduino in previous semester but this uh, semester we use a microcontroller at mega 32 32a uh, with the loss of connection wires, the project team utilized the customer PCB designed to eliminate all complex circuit and makes the integration with the helmet most easy. Thank you. The further discussion going, uh, further presentation will go. Good morning. My name is Sumanjit Kaur. Today I'm going to present comparative analysis. The comparative analysis involves how the projective changed the design of smart helmet to appeal the modern automobile industry. The research method proposed in the last semester involved the traditional uh, circuitry with Arduino and a lot of connecting wires. The project team uh, utilized a custom PCB are designed to eliminate all the complex circuitry and make integration with the helmet much easier and the limitation and conclusion the primary limitation include require requirement of power supply for transmitter unit and uh, the main hazard uh, in this is a uh, use of battery at the time it if it is implemented incorrectly uh, and the other the limitation include sms protocol used by a telecommunication network at the moment right now um, gsm module detect the same it can't uh, it can't uh, transcode a message creativity this smart helmet is a uh, is a special a special idea uh, that make a motor a motorcycle driver uh, safer than before and it include it uh, is implemented using a atmega microcontroller and uh, the working is very simple and with the, uh, we place vibration sensor in this in the helmet where the probability of hitting is more which is connected uh, to the atmega 32a microcontroller if the rider hit with something uh, with the, something like a ground or anything the sensor sense and microcontroller extract the information from gps uh, gps data using a gps module and then when the data assessed uh, minimum stress limit a uh, gps module automatically send data to its uh, uh, to its registered number with its location 
uh, innovation and entrepreneurship. The project team has made the implementation in standalone packets so that the develop, develop, deployment into the smart helmet can be done easily. The organization can use a development transmitter to develop a standalone a smart helmet without dealing a lot of weight. These are the reference. Thank you.